Five signs you are a rapid productivity expert. As Will Smith said, the road to success is through commitment. That's what it's like when you're becoming a Revit productivity expert. The more you make an effort at getting better in Revit, the nearly you become to being an expert. Welcome to Revit Keys. I hope you had an incredible week so far. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. So let's take a look of those five signs. Number one, relation between AutoCAD and Revit. To be an expert user, you must work in Revit, not to jump back and forth from AutoCAD to Revit. For that reason, an expert cuts the rope between Revit and AutoCAD. That means, don't import the CAD file and only link a CAD file. Why? We all know the AutoCAD metaphor, import equal insert block and link equal external reference. Insert block is a dead single reference to an external source and updating it is extra work. And external references are intended to be refreshed regularly and are managed intentionally through manage links. So, I'd prefer to link instead of import. There are lots of things that people can do wrong, making their DWG files that impact performance, but linking has never been enough to make me choose import instead. And note, you can find the link card under the insert tab in the link panel. Number two, your project is not on Mars. Your project have coordinates, the project base point that defines the origin 000 of the project coordinate system and the survey point that identifies a real world location near the model, such as a corner of a project site. So expert users know how to use shared coordinates to reference a civil survey AutoCAD file that was created using state plane coordinate system. In this way, your project stay close to the Revit origin. Number 3. Predicting warnings Unresolved warnings will slow down a project in a huge way when they've built up beyond a few hundred. So as you see in this project, we go to the Manage tab and we choose the Review Warning message in the Inquiry panel. And we will discover our warnings such as floor overlapping, walls overlapping, problems in the stair, in the rooms, and elements who have duplicate number values. So Revit throws up warning all the time. Each tells you that something you've done may cause a conflict in the model that you're building and they are easy to ignore. But if we ignore them, they will accumulate and basically you will have an adverse effect on model performance and overall health. So an expert user can predict when you are going to get a warning that need to be resolved and he know how to fix it. Number 4. Explanation to every invisible element Objects are not visible in this view. Many of us have faced this problem before. We get angry and sometimes we feel that we need to burn and break the system. But stop, stop and stop. No need to burn the PC and kill yourself because of this missing object. So an expert user understands the critical view properties and knows them such as VG overrides, discipline, view range, phases, design options, and many more. So he have explanations to every invisible element. Number five, organization of your project. The project browser is the control panel for your Revit project. You use it to navigate through your views, schedule, sheets, families, and groups. So the project browser is very important. 
Therefore, the existing project browser hierarchy is pretty good and can work on small projects. But when our projects start getting larger with thousands of views, it's essential to be able to control the project browser for more efficient use. So an expert user view types to automate the assignment of view templates to his views when they are created and use them to facilitate a better organization of views to his project browser. Thank you guys for spending some time with us. I hope that you have learned something new. Make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss our videos. Have a nice day.